They're passionate about empowering women, whilst at the same time having a positive impact on the environment through our innovative approach to upcycling. We upcycle recycled plastic bottles that we buy from the dumps. It provides empowerment for women, whilst at the same time having an impact on the environment. We believe we're trying to create a value chain where the community as a whole benefits from what we do. The cycle that we work in is we buy up our raw materials from landfills, from dumps around Cape Town, from organisations like Oasis for the Mentally Challenged. Um, we buy from local street collectors uh, where we're trying to help them create their own wealth. It's very important to learn to provide opportunities for women and I think that knowing our kind of history and our culture in essence, um, unfortunately it's still true that, that women, particularly uh, in the poorer communities, have limited access to employment opportunities and, and opportunities for growth. And I think that Lynn was quite focused and sincere about creating opportunities for those women that she perceived to have been almost the forgotten element of our society. It's the story behind it and that's where the social element comes in. Um, people buy the value chain that they know we're trying to build, they buy into that and they, they join us on that journey. Our environmental objectives are to save the amount of greenhouse gas that's emitted from the landfills. Our landfills are full to capacity. So people are then learning the value of recycling, the value of repurposing waste. I was once a plastic bottle. Now I'm a gift box to fill with your imagination. You can fill it with plants, grow all your herbs in it, put your diamond rings in it, your false teeth in it. Anything you like, it's a plastic bottle. And I like the fact that when we, when we sell this, people still go, wow, is that a plastic bottle? Premium yeah, it's a plastic Premium bottle. Premium. Have you melted it into the shape of the plastic bottle? No. Well, how does it close? Ah, that's magic. People are not buying this product because it's a plastic bottle. They do, they get the fact that it's saving the environment and you know, you, you're getting a certain part of the market who are, who are buying that. But it's the ones who buy the backstory of the product. They're the ones who are, are the buyers of it. It's important for me to make money. So the profit end, end of this is very, very important. And we are self-sustaining. The amount of sales we get pays for our wages, keeps us going, and that's how we turn it all over. In my experience, having worked with quite a lot of creative people and with crafters and, and small-scale manufacturers, we find that the products that are, not, that are purely decorative generally are a harder sell than those that have a function. So Lynn's clickety click box has a function and more importantly it can actually be branded with a corporate logo and I feel that that decision that she made and that sort of focus on what the market would potentially take is what separates her from many other sort of social enterprises or small-scale manufacturers or crafters out there. Lynn actually went in with the mindset of you know what is viable how can I take a waste product and actually turn it into a product that works and that people want to use. And I think that's part of the secret of her longevity, is that there was some forethought on market need and on kind of going beyond the pity purchase and actually creating a product that has commercial viability but also does good. And that's quite a rare mix to get right. It's quite a delicate balance to try and get that get that mix right. Um, but I think she's she's managed to do so.